I guess we're different sizes and different colors. But we're all special just the way we are. <laughs> You are special, you're the only one, you're the only one like you. There isn't another in the whole wide world who can do the things you do. Cause you are special, special, everyone is special. Just because you're here, you should know that we love you. Oh, you are special, special. Everyone is special. Everyone in his or her own way. Oh, you are special, special. Everyone is special. Everybody, I found something. Someone spilled the milk on the table. It's another clue. Now we know our mysterious visitor likes to drink milk. Mm, very interesting. <laughs> Did you find the gorilla? Huh? Huh? Did you find him? Why, Scooter McNutty, your imagination does run wild. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't seen a gorilla, Scooter, but someone drank all the milk. Well, then it's not a gorilla. Nope. Gorillas don't like milk. It must be an elephant. Yeah, that's it. Elephants like milk. <laughs> so now you're an expert on elephants? I don't think so, my dear Scooter. I don't think it's an elephant either, Miss Etta. <laughs> do elephants really like to drink milk? Well, baby elephants do. Oh, I love to drink milk. It's my favorite. I'm allergic to milk. You can't drink milk? No, but I do like to drink apple juice. Ooh, apple juice is good, especially with my favorite peanut butter. Peanut butter is great with my favorite, crunchy apples. Apples are good, but I like oranges best. I guess we all like different things. It's a good thing there are so many good things to snack on. <laughs> Have a snack. Eat an apple or an orange, have a snack. Munch a cherry or a grape, have a snack. Have some celery or carrots, have a snack. Yeah, broccoli is great. When you want something crunchy, when you want something sweet, fruits and vegetables are always fun to eat. Have a snack. Eat a pear or tangerine, yeah, have a snack. A purple plum or juicy peach, mm, have a snack. I like to peel a big banana, have a snack, yeah. I'll have one of each. When you want something crunchy, when you want something sweet, fruits and vegetables are always fun to eat. Oh, have a snack. What was that? I don't know. <laughs> there it is again. It sounds like it's coming from Barney. Oh, from me? Something's under your foot, Barney. Something squeaky. <laughs> it's a toy mouse. How did that get here? I've never seen it here before. This could be another clue. Hmm. Now we know our visitor likes milk and toys that squeak. And knocking things over. <laughs> Did you find that elephant yet? No elephants, but we did find this toy mouse. Well, then it can't be an elephant. Everybody knows elephants are afraid of mice. Well, really, Scooter, I believe that's only true in stories. Boy, I'm sure glad we don't have any elephants around here. <laughs> oh, not really, not elephants. Well, then it must be a tiger. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> a tiger? Here? 
Do tigers like to drink milk and play with squeaky toys? I don't think so. G'day, mates! G'day! G'day, Stella! G'day, Barney! Mm -hmm. That's how they say good day in Australia, the land of kangaroos and koalas. And that's where I just came from. <gasps> what you doing? Someone's been making messes around here, but we don't know who. It's a mystery. We're looking for clues to find out who it is. We know they like to drink milk and play with toys that squeak. Hmm, very interesting. Well, I don't know who your mysterious visitor is, but that mouse reminds me of a story. Would you like to hear it? <laughs> we always like to hear a wonderful story. And the best part is, you all get to help me tell it. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a mouse who lived in the city. The city mouse loved the bright lights of the city and dancing to loud music with her friends. Cool music. Hey, let's dance. lived in a big fancy house and snacked on cheese every day. And each night, the city mouse slept in a snuggly warm box. Ah, oh, the life of a city mouse. But one day, the city mouse decided she was tired of the city. I'm like, don't think I want to be a city mouse anymore. I want to be, you know, just like my country cousin. So she decided to go live with her cousin on a farm in the country where there's lots of fresh air and sunshine. When she arrived, the country cousin and his wife were very happy to see her. Welcome to the country, cousin. Are you hungry? Yes, but I like, don't want to be any trouble. I want to be, you know, just like you. I'll have some cheese, please. We don't eat cheese in the country, but we do have some delicious seeds. These seeds taste like very different from cheese. I don't think I like them. I sure wish I had some cheese. After dinner, the city mouse was ready for a night on the town. Where are all the bright lights and the loud music? It's like so quiet out here in the country. We don't have any bright lights or loud music out here in the country. You must be tired after your long journey. Would you like to go to sleep? Uh, yes, but I like don't want to be any trouble. I want to be just like you. Where do you sleep? We sleep outside in a nest. Even when it rains? I don't think I like sleeping in a nest. That's very different from my house. I sure miss my snuggly warm box in the city. And the next morning, the city mouse was ready to go home. Well, like, thanks for letting me come for a visit in the country, cousin. But I think I like living in the city better. That's OK. We like living out here in the country. But you are always welcome to visit any time. Bye. Bye. You come back now. Bye. And they all live happily ever after. The end. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, thanks, Stella, for telling us the story of the city mouse and the country mouse. It was lots of fun. Yeah. <laughs> you all did such a wonderful job of acting it out. Oh, <laughs> Well, I hope you find out who your mysterious visitor is, but I really must be going. So, as they say in Australia, good day, mates. <laughs> good day, Stella. Bye. 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 It's as simple as one, two, three. Nobody else can do it like you do, cause you've got to be you. I can dance and I can sing. I can run and jump and swing. I can do it my own way. And that is why we sing. Oh, you've got to be you. Like you do, cause you've got to be you. I can dance, 
And I can sing, I can do most anything I can do it my own way And that is why we say Oh, you've got, got to be you, I've got to be me It's so simple as do re me Nobody else can do it like you do Cause you've got to be you Cause you've got to be you Cause you've got to be you Oh, it's true I've got to be me Oh, Mrs. No, I try. <laughs> the mouse in the... What was that? I think it's a tiger. <laughs> no, there couldn't be a tiger in our classroom. <laughs> it's not a tiger. It's my kitten. So it's you who's been making such a mess. Oh, congratulations, Star Detectives. You solved the mystery. Thanks, Barney. <laughs> Thanks for helping me find my kitten. But there's still something I haven't found. Hmm? What? Yes. A name for my kitten. Oh, that's <gasps> right, Jeff. Names are very important. Yeah, my name is really special because I was named after my grandfather. Oh, and that's another way we're all different. We all have different names. <laughs> Did you find that tiger? <laughs> it wasn't a tiger scooter. It was just kitten. Well, it looks like a tiger to me. <laughs> A little tiger. <laughs> Scooter just gave me a great idea. Now I know what to name my kitten. What you do? What is it, Jeff? I'll name him Tiger. Oh, oh that's a really good name. Right? Looks like a little tiger. Oh, that's a perfect name for him. Oh, yeah. Barney. <laughs> Barney, being detectives was a lot of fun. And we found out we're all different. We look different. We have different names. And we like different food. We may be different in a lot of ways, but we're all the same in one way. How's that, Barney? We're all best friends. <laughs> I love you, you love me, we're a happy family, with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you, won't you say you love me too? What should we do now that we've solved the mystery? Well, it's still a perfect day to play outside. Anyone want to fly my kite now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Everybody, it's time for Barney Says! <laughs> Hello again to all my friends. I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never end. Here's what we did today. Someone was making a mess all over. Hmm, it was a mystery, one we had to solve. While looking around, we found out that we're all different sizes. We like different things, and we even look different. You know, there are lots of ways we're different from each other, but all those differences make us extra special friends. We solved our mystery. It was Jeff's kitten. Jeff was happy to see him. Oh, I just love a good mystery. And remember, I love you. <laughs>